Dallas had been very good to us. And this is another example of, I think, informed policy where the uh, civic court leaders around here step back and said, you know, there's something we can do here that's a win-win. It could be good for your company and it can be good for the city and we're going to work with you on it. So again, a public-private partnership, a little bit of support and help from the city in the right places and redistricting or rezoning some things so that we could have a little bit more insulated environment, the right kind of tax incentives, us coming in with some of our own private funding to develop the area for a mixed use development that not only can be uh, in service of our employees, but also the citizenry around Dallas. Um, I think we came up with a, a pretty aggressive and bold concept. As you know, your, your organization stepped in and invested in the area by putting a Cowboys fit in. And we did a variety of other things with uh, local thought leaders around here as to how we can get that nice public-private mix. And uh, I have to tell you, when I was looking at the project early on, I was like, eh, you know, is all this going to work? Is it, are we going to hit, hit this the right way? And, you know, yes, COVID has been a little bit of a challenge, like getting hired the right number of people to come in and open up what are overtaxed restaurants right now. You know, it's amazing the volume and the foot traffic that's been going on here since the, you know, the district has opened up. And I was down here a couple of weeks ago on a Friday night with my wife and she turned to me and she said, this is unbelievable. Look at how many people are here. And it's, it's really encouraging. And we're still not even all the way up to, you know, full capacity and full stride. So I, I think it's going to be really exciting. I think it's nice to see in the south end of Dallas what's starting to happen from a revitalization perspective. I think this will be another step in that direction. And I'm kind of excited to see what happens on the other side of this, you know, to the left and right of the Discovery District now, because I, I really do believe this has added a lot of cachet and capability to a neighborhood that can be so much more.